Hey guys, what's up? Okay, so right now I'm in the airport. Yes, I have this weird irritation on my face. Sometimes it happens, I have no idea what it is. I'm in the Hawaii airport in Oahu. I actually have a ton of traveling time ahead of me because I'm trying to reach the status with Alaska Airlines. So I'm literally flying from Hawaii to Alaska, Anchorage, Alaska. I'm not going home because that's where I live. I'm only stopping there. Then I'm going to Seattle where I have a small layover. I'm actually meeting my sister there. She's gonna be spending the whole day in Seattle because she's working and she needs to be working remotely. And then we're both flying to Newark. Newark? I don't know how to say it because I'm not from the East Coast and I know I sound so stupid. That's flight from Hawaii to Alaska, Alaska to Seattle, and then Seattle to Newark. I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm dumb. So, I thought I would make a video on what to do when you're on an airplane because I actually made this exact same video last year at the same airport when I had my trip to Japan. I thought I would do it again because you guys really, really liked it. I think this might actually be a longer travel time. I don't know, but I thought it'd be really fun, so that's what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna have a lot of downtime, a lot of alone time, so we're gonna do it. And yeah, we're gonna spend New Year's in New York City. So that's our final destination, and I'll get there tomorrow sometime at night. First, I'm gonna show you guys what I've downloaded, and I've already talked about this in my last video of what to do on an airplane, but I'm gonna go over some of them just in case you guys missed that video. Also, I'm just gonna throw out that Rish's dad literally wrote a book. So if you're a huge fan of Rish, definitely go check out his dad's book, even though it's not really anything to do with Rish. I'll leave it in the description below. Definitely check it out if you are interested because I've met the man, he's hilarious, he's smart, and I'm sure his book is too. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys what I've downloaded beforehand on my phone. This is the stuff that takes a little bit of extra prep work. So, what do we have here? Okay, we have Netflix. I showed you guys this in my last video, but it's actually super handy and I didn't know that this existed. So what you can do if you have a Netflix account, you can actually download movies and they actually have a pretty large um, 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 uh, selection. They have like all of these, Master of None is great, Unbreakable is great, like I would have totally, oh my gosh. I've already downloaded kind of a lot. I don't really know what the minimum or the maximum in is. What I've downloaded are four episodes of Stranger Things. Usually I'm too scared to watch them because I usually watch TV before I go to bed, but I'll be on a plane and so I feel like I won't get scared. So I think I'm going to check this out because everyone talks about it. So yeah, the first thing that you can do, definitely download some Netflix movies. The second thing that I downloaded are my favorite podcasts, I will show you guys, and also my favorite audiobooks. So I'll show you guys all of what I've downloaded. I have a lot of content, at least to keep me entertained. Um, which is really nice and just something to think about ahead of time. So I'll go ahead and show you guys what I've downloaded because it's a lot. For Audible. This is a final boarding call for Alaska Airlines. Okay, these did not finish downloading until I actually opened the app, so that's good that I opened it. These are not my books, so I don't know what these are. It's a different account because you can actually authorize up to five devices. So this is, I just went on someone else's downloads to download this. I actually got both of these two recommendations from a podcast that I listened to, Tim Ferriss, one of my favorite podcasters ever. It was a Terry Crews podcast, so I'm definitely super excited to listen to these because Tim Ferriss gives like the best recommendations and I think uh, Terry Crews recommended this one, the Master Key System. And then they both recommended this one. If you guys want a free Audible download, I have a code or a link for one Audible book. So it is a subscription-based service. So if you don't want to continue the subscription and continue to get audiobooks every month, then cancel it um, if you just want to enjoy like the free trial. But if not, you can continue and then keep downloading the audiobooks. That's what I do. But yeah, that link will also be in the description below. And then I'll show you guys the podcast that I have downloaded. Um, and everyone always asks me like what podcast I listen to. I'm really set on a few and then I always like to try out some new ones. David Dobrik, my favorite YouTuber and his podcasts are just as funny. So I have his downloaded. I have Tim Ferriss' new podcast downloaded. Um, I just started listening to him. I've only heard one, but I liked it so far. It's like about meditation. I've listened to three of Malcolm Gladwell's and they're always super interesting. So those are like my top podcasts so far. And then I recently started listening to Joe Rogan. And I actually honestly really only use this to 
go to sleep. I've listened to this podcast in particular. I'm around like an hour and 30 or something to go to sleep for the last five days and I'm asleep within like 10 minutes and it's my perfect solution for any type of insomnia that I have and it works amazingly. I am so tired and I've been reading my book so my eyes are burning and it's like 1.30 36. I've been here for almost an hour and a half and I'm literally in my hometown of Anchorage but I'm not getting out of the airport because my flight is in an hour. It was me staring at a lady staring at me for vlogging. Are you guys proud? <laughs> she actually kept the stare for pretty long but then she looked down so I win. Okay so you know how I was sitting on like one of those like stupid premium seats? But yeah, so I was sitting on one of those seats and my flight was like obviously really late and I was trying to get some like stow some drinks away for the clerbs. <laughs> Cause I did that too. How many did you get? I got one because I think you have one. Wait, okay. There is nothing that middle-aged white women hate more than me asking for drinks. <laughs> Kelly. Okay, so I said, can I get a gin and tonic? And then she was like going to get it. And then I was like, can I get a double gin and tonic? And she like, she like kind of looked at me weird and like came back. And she was like, can I see your ID? And I gave her my military ID because it was in my pocket. And she was like, um, do you have a driver's license? And I gave her a really annoyed look and I was like, this is a military ID. And she's like, yeah, I know, I, I need a driver's license. And then I was like, I like no, literally, I know, I was like, the birthday's on the back. And she was like, I, I just really need to see it, like with urgency, a driver's license. And so I had to get it out of my backpack, which like, I don't care, but it's, a, it's literally a military ID. Yeah, that's more official than any driver's license. I, I like get out my ID and I'm like, I do a really annoyed face. I'm like super annoyed. And then like I give her my ID and then she's like, oh, did you know that we offer military discounts on our meal packages now? Yeah, you guys get a better deal than we do. And I was like, <laughs> okay. And then I got two more. <laughs> so I had. Like, I need to ask for a double. It was also really funny. Like my flight was like a red eye. I just asked for a gin for the last one. And she was like, uh, she had to go get it because it was like five in the morning and then, <laughs> and then she was like do you want do you want like a cup of ice or anything with it and I was like no because she thought I was just gonna drink it out of the bottle <laughs> and she just gave me literally the weirdest look my question is they had to have seen that before right they, they can't yeah. like act so surprised maybe it's because it's so new but yeah I learned it there's Kelly I don't know if you want to be on camera. Hello. So most of my two flights I actually slept. It was like funny because I could feel myself sleeping like, <laughs> like with my mouth open. And then I would try to close it and then I would just wake up with my mouth open again. And then I also have been reading this book. I didn't show you guys this. This was recommended by one of my subscribers on Twitter. Actually, I don't even know if she's my subscriber. She follows me on Twitter. I think she does though because I recognize her username. But it was really funny because the podcast that I showed you guys it was like Dale Carnegie and this one is a book about like yeah. introvertism and she's basically going through the history of how like society favors extroverts and Dale Carnegie he's mentioned in the first chapter and it's because Kelly are you listening to this? Yes. It's fascinating. Um, it. Everyone used to always focus on the character like in your home and your family life it's like always a super hard-working guy he's really reliable he has a good family but then um, since like the turn of corporatism Everyone started focusing on purely based on how you present yourself to other people. So like introverts are not favored in that way because they're usually bad at that. Yeah. This book is very fascinating, but it was funny because I literally got two opposite books or just like the books that she was referencing as like why extrovertism is favored. And then also this is a book on introvertism. Um, so in my company, it's like you have to network. Oh, I look so ugly. <laughs> 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 you have to network to get promotions and they're like if you're an introvert don't worry because most of the people who are principals are introverts. Really? 
Really? Hmm. Yep. My like my principal and my person above me is they're both like, very introverted. You become known as like a really reliable person who oh. just does like really good work. Wow. And it's really noticeable when you overextend yourself. Like you talked about this, I think, in some of your videos. Or like it's like a. Do concept. you watch my videos? <laughs> <laughs> It's okay. I, I yeah, I do, but not here. Um, oh, so cute! They're so cute. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> oh, those little girls are so cute. They're so oh wait, can precious. I follow? What were you saying? Yeah, they're adorable. When you, you know, when <laughs> you, like when you have, when you have. Like what's you know when you go out of your way to like bring someone to your level of success without oh. like asking for anything in return or you know you're not hiding yeah. your skills or your it's like an altruistic behavior it's like yeah. all yeah. A, a tide rises all ships or whatever yeah yeah, I, yeah I always get that saying wrong that's like what they always talk about and you can see it a lot well this book is fascinating so if you guys want to read it definitely recommend especially if you're introverted would you read it since you're not introverted no yeah see this like literally every single page is like oh my god that's so relatable <laughs> now we're in the alaska lounge because it's the end of the year and my parents like little pa guest passes are expiring they're adorable and so me and kelly were like we'll use them actually my mom told us to use them but this one's really nice uh, i'm gonna do a quick walk through what are you doing on your plane oh She's doing work. This is an obvious one. I downloaded um, my job applications to actually apply to them because Rish's dad wrote a whole book on the airplane. So I can write my Damn. job application. Yeah. You might like it actually. You should read it. Cause you're really into those types of books. Ooh, is it on like Goodreads? It's on Amazon and Barnes and Nobles. I'll, I'll link it down below. <laughs> you say that again? Link this book down below. It's so good. I'm not going to. <laughs> Bar. Waterfall. Wow. Food. Good tour, huh? Yes. I made pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've flown a total of nine hours now. Traveling probably 12, 13. Our total travel time is gonna be 20 hours. I've calculated it. Yeah, because my first flight was six hours and then the last one was like three and a half. Hours. This one is like six, right? Yeah. Or five and a half. We were talking about how when you have long travel times, your expectations are just so different because nine is a pretty long time for me. But since I know that I have like another one, I'm like, oh, whatever. You like mentally prepare yourself. Yeah. And then it's like not as hard. On the way to Hawaii, I thought I had a five hour flight, but it was six and a half. That was and so I died. <laughs> I was going crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I was just sitting That's there the like, worst. That's what I thought <gasps> my flights were going to be like because I had so many flights, but I'm fine. We just arrived in Newark. <laughs> it's Newark, right? Yeah. Why does it sound like New York? <laughs> I don't know. It's like a fake New York. Whoa. Um, that's interesting. <laughs> yeah. I just got my bag and it looks like someone pooped on it. Little scratches here. And whoa. But at least my bag is here. <laughs> they really shot on my bag. <laughs> but, yeah. Smell it. Yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> Kelly, what'd you just say? <laughs> oh my god, please. Don't let that. <laughs> Take all my bags. <laughs> Actually, you're so, back too. So, oh. do you know what the air mattress people? Uh, thank you. Thank okay, you. Okay, so our host doesn't have a couch to sleep on. He doesn't have an air mattress. On your blog. Oh, I am. <laughs> and he doesn't have a. Uh, blankets so we had to go to Walmart and our uber driver at first wasn't down to wait but then he heard us talking about how we have to buy an air mattress oh and Kelly's bag was left in Honolulu so at least they gave us a hundred dollars to spend for the night so we're here buying an air mattress but we left all of our stuff in the uber I'm, I'm sure he's like really nice I don't think he'll take it. <laughs> Literally the only reason yeah, and he seemed really nice. He was like, "Whose house are you staying at? This your this your boy?" <laughs> like, my mom always taught me to feed my guests, and this has a pump with it, but so does that one. <laughs> <laughs> you got a blanket, frozen themed. 
And now we're hurrying to check out. So when I pulled up to their house, because they live in like New York, in a very beautiful suburban neighborhood. So 